Uh, Wednesday, the 8th of uh, February. Got my little lawnmower back. It cost almost as much to fix it as it would have to bought a big box store, brand new one. But this one is supposed to have the good engine in it. And it runs better than it did when it was brand new. They found a broken spring uh, in the carburetor, of all places. Uh, probably broke from new. Uh, one pull start, cranked right up. New blade, change the oil, spark plug, air filter, uh, clean and rebuild the carb, uh, $133. And my leak repair, where I fiberglass the wall, seems to have done the trick. I got some seepage down here. And we had real strong rains again. And normally I'd have water running all the way over to here where I filled the trough in and quite a bit of water and it's bone dry. That's just a seepage. And it could be originating at the bottom of the door because I have such a wide gap because I do not have uh, lower thresholds on the door. Just this weather strip that I made. The reason I think that is I've got the same thing going on at the front door where I just have the weather strip that I made and I see this seepage right here and I can live with that a whole lot better than it was no leaks up here on the floor these were some good rains now they weren't just sprinkles they were some good powerful rains and this area back here is driving me bonkers It bone dry today, so who knows? Yeah, you know, I could do a better job of sealing that right there when I get more die core out. You know, that die core did not go all the way down to the floor in that spot. Easy enough fix. And this wall is dry over here. There's another door behind the shelf unit. I've got the overhead door and two other functioning man doors. So this one, instead of keeping that door clear, I just basically killed it and put the shelf unit there to get more room in the inside the building. So, went and got my hair cut today. And uh, what the hell else I do? There's something else. Haircut. Picked up a lawnmower. Eh, I guess that's it. Um, start calling around, try to find a steel supplier that will either let me or have them cut it in half on the 20 foot sticks or get off my dead behind and haul that stuff on the blue trailer to the scrapyard, get it cleared. I think I'll pick up my iron that I need will probably be the process but yeah uh, good strong strong range and building is predominantly dry I'd say 99.9% .9 dry and outside here where I blew all the leaves and cleared the debris from the base of the fence used to I'd have standing water here in this corner and now I don't. A little puddle over there is from the rain gutter on the chicken coop. So uh, looks like I got some drainage going again from this corner down the hill over into the parking area and on out to the street. So just keep it clear. Watch it dry up. So yeah, my fiberglass did work, so I'll continue on with the repair over here on this wall. Not today. Tomorrow is supposed to be sunny. Uh, 26 degrees Saturday morning. The wind turned. Right now it's 58 degrees. This morning started out at 66. So the wind turned coming out the north. That front blowing in. And that's going to cause that 20 degree temp. <coughs> 
and tomorrow is when uh, the fiber internet people is going to be here from 1 till 5. So I got to be here all afternoon. So anyway, I'm going to relax a bit, eat my sandwich, and uh, head back towards house here in just a minute. Thank you.